Welcome back. This is going to be my full technical analysis for Monday, December 17, that's 7, I mean, uh, 2020. Uh, and we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have pulled back quite nicely now at the end of the US session. And what I think is going to happen here is that we're going to rally, first of all, find resistance here at 91, and then rally towards the 20 exponential. And this is the reason why I started buying uh, US dollar CAD because it is significantly oversold. It is um, it is uh, overstretched, and at this point, it's going to pretty sure rally towards um, the, the 20 exponential. Uh, so that's the reason why. And you can also look at the other um, currencies, for example, US dollar. Uh, like Euro, US dollar, Great British Pound, US dollar, they are probably going to have a major pullback on Monday because of this rally here. But it depends on this rally. And at this moment, it looks quite encouraging. If we are oversold in the US dollar index, that's not something that happens very often. It's very rare, actually, if you look at all of this period, that this is basically oversold. So we are expecting a pullback towards the 20, something similar to this uh, where the next week. And that, of course, will also have a negative effect on commodities and also on the indices and so on. So keep that in mind. So let's look at oil. So oil has rallied, OPEC meeting and so on. And uh, vaccine news is basically the thing that are pushing this market higher. We got all the way up to 46.67. And at this point, we fell back to below the previous highs here. That is not a good sign. We created this inverted hammer. And at this point, I think we are going to see lower levels. Um, how far we go, uh, that is the question. I think we could actually fall back towards these lows, these previous highs, I mean. That is around 43. That is possible. But I think in the long run, we are going to head towards the 50. We are actually in a channel at the moment. It looks like we are trading within the channel, a small channel. We can basically put it up here. Um, so these highs and uh, we have these lows. So roughly here. So we could fall back towards this area here and then rally again, that is possible for oil. Um, and the target here will most likely be the 50. So pullbacks all the way up towards the 50 before we break the lows, because I don't think that we are going higher than 50. We're actually not supposed to be here at this point. Uh, the main reason why we had all these rallies was due to the vaccine, but the vaccine hasn't made more demand for oil. It's just made optimism, and optimism is not what's supposed to drive this market. It's basically supposed to be demand, supply and demand that's going to drive this market. But when reality kicks in, and it most likely will kick in when we get to the 50, then it's time to basically sell this. At the point, I just stay away from oil. Um, it's, yeah, I just wait until we find major resistance until basically to sell this. So natural gas. We can see that we fell all the way down to basically the, 50 Fibonacci, the second Fibonacci retracement. I just need to put this up here because this is probably the best explanation there is why we found resistance here. That's why, because we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement and it's basically right here at where we landed. But I don't think this is going to be the, uh, the place where we find major support. It could be, but I do believe that we are going to go lower. I think that we are going to rally up towards these previous lows and then see another fall towards the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. And until we see that um, or we break the 50, I'm not really willing to buy this, not even close. This is just in a free fall. It can rally. It can basically fall. It's just a pure gamble to enter this market at this stage. So pull back towards the you know, 200 moving average or uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. 
that is where, where you can enter this market for a buy. Technical indicators for this are looking fairly dreadful at this point, so expect another pullback. So let's look at copper. Copper has yet again rallied, taking out these previous uh, highs. And at this point, we are at uh, 79 on the RSI. And copper could basically fall like a rock if, if, if it starts falling. And so demand for copper apparently is out there. Um, China is producing, so it basically needs copper in order to, when, when it makes all this machinery. So, so that's probably where demand is coming from. Um, but it's not from other places like Europe and, and, and the United States. Um, it is mainly Asia. Uh, that is, is uh, the main driver for, for this uh, rally. But there are warning signs, but there have been warning signs for quite some time. We found support here, 3.4, um, and that will probably be where we'll find the nudge, the, uh, uh, additional support if, the, if this uh, falls. I would prefer a fall towards the 20, that's 3.3, I have no interest in basically buying this because it's way too overbought. Selling this has been an absolute turd uh, the last uh, three weeks, so I'm not going to do that. So I'll wait for a pullback, which will eventually occur because this can't carry on forever, and then buy this. So let's look at uh, gold. So gold has rallied all the way up towards the 20 exponential and then pull back. And it's showing a lot of weakness in this market. So I wrote uh, my long-term analysis for gold will look something similar to this. Maybe it will hold, maybe not. But at this point, I see we have a major resistance line up here, a major support line down here and we are right in the middle. So usually what happens is that we trade up and down, up and down until we get to this corner, which will basically be in 2021. And this is January 2021. And I would not be uh, surprised if it was basically in the middle, in the beginning or probably end of, of uh, January 2001, because there is where we most likely will expect our stimulus. And stimulus is the thing that is going to drive this market higher. It is going to come. Long-term perspective for gold are really, really bullish. So the closer you get to this trend line, if it holds in the long run, that's buying opportunities. Every single time we get to this trend line, that is basically buying opportunities. Because when we get there, I think that will break to the upside, take out 2000 2100 and beyond that until we get to those points i have no interest in basically entering this market at this point so let's look at silver we can see that we tried to rally again but this here we have done before we saw it here broke down we saw it here broke down we saw it all over here and so on broke down if we cannot get a clear green candlestick above the 50 moving average, we are not going to rally above this. So we even did that back here, but it just isn't prepared to this rally. I think that we are going to see a pullback towards the 20 before we rally significantly in this market. We can see that we have the Fibonacci retracement here. This is going to be support but the 50 is basically where I'm targeting. You could also make the case that we have this downward trend line here. We'll run into major resistance when we get there, but we have also an additional trend line here. So similar to gold, when we get here, we will fall towards this trend line. That's roughly the Fibonacci retracement, the 40, um, the uh, 38.2 so we can see that we are right here where we'll find uh, support and we'll find resistance here so we'll travel within this area here before we break to the upside or break to the downside that is most likely what is going to happen here um so until we get one of those major moves 
I'm also just staying out of this market. Technical analysis, technical indicators for this are mixed. Um, the MACD is flat. Stochastic is bullish. Uh, CGI is bullish. And the RSI is technically flat at this point. So let's look at platinum. This was an absolute <laughs> crazy move today. We rallied all the way up to 1,081. Um, yes. And then fell quite significantly. Um, yes. What can I say? We're at 79. Um, technical indicators are turning around. The stochastic is turning around. CCI is not turning around, but the, and so is not so are the rest of, uh, MACD. But moves like this always have a pullback at least to some kind of support. And probably it's going to be these previous highs here. So a pullback towards uh, 1,005. That is, that's very likely. You'll also have the 20 exponential moving this way or a pullback towards uh, 1,040. That is also possible. But the buy this at this stage is just crazy. You should have bought it down here or we should have bought it down here. And to, to sell this, that is also possible, because but you should have done it all the way up here, 1,081. So at this point, pull back towards these levels here and a turn around there. That is probably um, the best move in this market. So Palium. We can see that we have tried to rally, broke down again, but we found support here yesterday at 2.231 um we're just in the middle of nowhere we are we have uh oh, sorry that's not the wrong one we have the highs here at uh, 2.44 we have additional lows right there here so we are basically in the middle of things so until we get here and break down then you can basically sell if you get to all the way down here you can buy so this is most likely what, what is going to happen for the foreseeable future until we basically rally above here, take out these highs, and then we go higher. Or take out these lows, break the 200 moving average, and go lower. But I do think this is going to go higher. It just seems like it's taking its time at this point. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has rallied a, a little bit today. This is a uh, quite uh, bullish hammer, but technical indicators are not looking that bullish. Uh, so we may see another pullback towards this level. That's around the uh, 2.00. Um, at the stage, it's just in the middle of nowhere. It's you can, it can go up, it can go down, uh, but down is uh, is um, preferred um, to the upside because. We run into major resistance if we rally right right here. But the pullback towards the 20 exponential, that's a buying opportunity to basically hold with a stop loss right underneath here. So at the moment, this is also something I'm just staying away from because it is just too risky. So nickel, we can see that, yes, I was expected a pullback towards the 50. That's what I did expect for this market, but it didn't. It rallied actually here at the 2020 exponential moving average. So hopefully somebody else was paying attention to my video yesterday and uh, tried to capture this market because they would have done a really good job of basically buying this. We did not break the previous highs here. That's an indication that we most likely will have a pullback on Monday session towards the 20 exponential. Technical indicators for this are looking uh, very bullish at this point. CCI is just absolutely exploding to the upside. So expect uh, probably a pullback and then rally. Um, but the 20 exponential is holding uh, for now. I would prefer down towards the 50. Then I'll basically be buying this. So let's look at sugar. And we can see that we have fallen quite aggressively. Um, so aggressively uh, that I consider not buying this, but because we found quite a lot of resistance here, or support here, sorry, this is going to be a market I will be interested in Monday's session. Um, 
last time we rally, we went all the way to the 20 exponential and pull back. That's not a good sign, but we have found support here at the 50. And uh, if we could get these indicators to turn around a little bit, then this would be uh, very promising. But we'll see what happens Monday. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, get a red, uh, green candlestick here, then I'll be all over this to target these very highs. Otherwise, just wait what, to see what happens here. So let's look at cotton. We can see that we tried to rally, broke down again, and now we created this inverted hammer, which is a fairly negative sign at this stage. Um, Technical indicators are fairly bearish at this point, so we will see. A break towards the 50 moving average is a definitely buy for this market. Um, but we could rally here, but this is not a very encouraging sign. But I would prefer a pullback towards the 50 or close as possible to the 50 and probably 0 0.6996, which is the previous highs here. Then let's uh, buy this to these very highs. So let's look at Cocoa. So Cocoa was one of the uh, was actually good trades that we did this week. We captured this fall and then we got out of the market around this area here. So we rallied yesterday, pulled back, rallied today and, and uh, fell, fell a little bit and pulled back. And then we have this red hammer here. At this point, well, if you look at technical indicators, we should expect choppiness further down towards the 20 exponential. The question is whether or not we will rally from the 20 exponential all the way to these previous highs. If we break the 20 exponential, then we're heading to the 50. So just keep that in mind. Uh, pull back from here and take out of these, uh, this candlestick here. That's a bullish shine. But I just don't see how that is going to happen. If the MACD crosses this signal line here, we are going lower. We are going all the way down to the 50 moving average. And then you basically can buy it there. So last but not least, this is wheat. We can see that we have found support here at the, at the uh, 576 uh, price level, which were the previous highs here and so on. So if this holds, which I doubt it will, um, we may have a test at the 20. We have tried that, didn't get close. We are trading underneath the 20 and the 50. And at this stage, I think that we are just going to make another low. So we'll probably go down to here. This is 565, the previous highs here. Then go even lower towards these highs at 555 and then towards the 200 before we find major support. Um, we'll see, but this was not an encouraging sign. We tried to rally, broke down again. We saw the same move, for example, in natural gas. It rarely has a good outcome to the upside when you try to rally and get rejected like this. So expect an additional pullback from here. So hope you find this helpful. It uh, was mixed week, quite a good trace in, in the stocks, but, um, uh, but overall quite a lot of noisy in this week, but a good start to December. So good luck and good weekend. Music